Hello lovely people, it's Cara here and I am so, so mad. So you've caught me on a, let me think, Tuesday night um, and I thought I'd just jump on and do a bit of a sewy, sewy, what kind of word is that? A sewing catch up has started so well hasn't it um, <laughs> if you're new around here don't be scared I promise I'll warm up and get better but I'm a one take wonder so I never edit it anything out I am as you see me um, and uh, I thought I'd just do a quick catch up with you or maybe not so quick do you know lots has been happening in my life as there probably has been in yours but it seems like ages since I spoke to you but that's not true because I've done recent makes i've done a holland haul i've done the most phenomenal review um of, well phenomenal as in i think the trousers are amazing uh review of the mitchell trousers um but i thought i'd do a catch up with you today um about what i've been up to what's new in my life um and all sorts of bits and pieces um which is yeah, hopefully you'll, you'll hang around for that um if you're new around here please do subscribe i'd love to know you're out there um and a regular follow and hit that old bell for um for notifications of when i let um out new videos which is generally speaking once a week um i've been pretty regular now for nearly um well the whole of this year <gasps> this year's nearly over i can't believe it so i've got some really exciting things to talk to you about um what i'm wearing is one of them what's behind me is one of them because i um this today is um pretty much one of the Sort of fully sponsored um, videos I've ever done so please hang around because I've got um, lots to talk to you about um, and these beautiful uh, this beautiful light here is part of that um, because I I wanted to get a new light um, and I have been watching lots of brilliant youtubers so Tamlin from Sewn on the Side Time, Rach from Stitched Up, Rowan from uh, Rowan sorry from Yorkshire Sew Girl um, and oh, um, Jess, um, I forget her, her channel, her name of the channel. Uh, the serious lights have been popping up um, all over the place, and um, I was fortunate enough to be contacted by them um, and asked if I wanted to work with them. Um, like you, uh, it's now well in, the, in, the, in this part of the world at least. We're now well into winter. Um, autumn has literally turned up, and I'm sitting here now. It's about five o'clock. It's pitch black and I need to be able to sew so in order to provide the light that I've got you see you're seeing there I've got a ring light over here which I, I turn that way you can see in the reflection of my glasses so I'm going to try not to do that and I've got a very standard light up there so I need different lights in order to be able to sew so um I yeah it's very exciting so they have um they have sponsored this video for me they've provided me the lamps um, and sponsorship for my video in, in exchange for an honest review and I literally signed a contract with him that said you know if I wasn't happy with the product then I didn't need to talk about it and I could return the lights <gasps> the exact opposite is true I love these lights um, and I'm going to slice in now um, my beginning journey with this company because uh, in all honesty yeah this this is the lighting equivalent of the beautiful parcels you get for fabric you know the t care and attention that goes into it so i'm going to slice in the opening now because it is amazing i've never seen anything like it so let, stay tuned watch this it's just a very short clip and i'll be back in a second hi there so a really unusual segment in my filming today but i wanted to um, do an unboxing of the um, Serious Readers floor lamp. Now it's a lovely big box. I'm um, just going to tilt this down a little bit. And you know what? It's beautifully packaged. And if this even says here, sorry, um, this one here says, lay me down with this face up open, um, up to open. So really amazing packaging. Okay, so I opened the box and I did just want to share this with you. Um, I've never seen this before. Genuinely, this is how it's arrived. Look how nicely that package is. And check this out, look. You've got step one, step two, um, step three, and then step four there. That is amazing. Because look, it says, please open first, user guide enclosed. I'm loving it. Look at the quality of that packaging. And it's all recyclable, which is fantastic. 
Okay, so beautiful packaging and look at this. This is a beautiful product. Oh my word, it's just lovely. So yeah, this is exactly how it came out of the box. Beautifully packaged in there, really secure. And um, they've also very kindly sent me a compact light, um, which I'll be able to give you more details about in um, the rest of the video. But look how solid this is. It's absolutely lovely. Um, and I look forward to putting this together and showing it to you in a bit more detail. Here's the kit little compact light and again another amazing example of fantastic instructions um, and, and packaging sorry. Look at how lovely this is, it's like opening up fabric isn't it? Wow this comes in a little bag, gosh it's lovely. So doing this one handed which is always a little bit tricky and look how lovely that is because that really is compact. Look, that's fantastic. Let me get it out and um, I'll come back to you in a second. So I just got, so it came in an outer bag, this lovely um, canvas bag here. And this is how it's come out of the back, the packaging. Just lovely, look, lovely protective cover there. Um, and really nice, and it's ever so flexible, really good. And so sturdy on the base there, that's amazing. So if you ever like needed to take, um, a light with you when you go to like a, a course or something um, you know st sometimes you go to sew sewing meetings and things that would be amazing if you wanted to take this kind of light with you incredible so far okay so here we are in my sewing room um, now this is an area that you've seen many times behind me but I don't really take much time out to show you how how my sewing uh, room works so I've got the lovely artwork up there. Michelle did the cross stitch for me last year. And the picture, picture of the whippet there up at the top, which is lovely. So I've got my overlocker there. I've got my sewing machine and I've got my um, ironing board. Now my room is tiny. So it's what we traditionally call in England a box room. So you literally turn around here. It's not too messy today. Got my fabric stash there. Got my mannequin with my Christmas party dress on it, which I'll come to another day. And there I am, out the back of the door, turning around. So you'll see it's a small room. And at the moment, the light that I have is just a standard sort of IKEA room lamp. Okay, so this is what I've been sewing in. Um, but um, despite having some daylight there, if I turn my light out, it's actually really dark. So what I wanted, which is fun phenomenal is to be able to have a dual um, head lamp so this is called the Gemini Sirius Readers heavy standard lamp um, and what I want to be able to do if I come closer in is use the one on the left here for the ironing board and then the one on the right for um, my overlocker and sewing machine so let's get into some of the details these are stunning it's a beautiful matte finish um, I went for black um, you've got options of white as well um, and there are actually options for nickel which is a silver finish I think a brass a white and a black for the stems here these are fully flexible um, now you saw you saw how they came out of the box but they are fully flexible and the, although it's moving around a bit, obviously I have just moved it, the base hasn't moved at all. The base is really sturdy, which is fabulous. Let me just put those back up here a second. They are incredibly well ergonomically designed. So you've got the, the length there at the pole and then the base at the bottom and the small details. This, this would, my husband would absolutely love this. This is a beautiful Velcro strap here. You can see the word serious there um, and it's it's got a d-ring in it so you can actually tighten it um, to keep your excess um, excess cord tied up and this is this under here it's a lovely matte finish um, and this hides the base uh, the weight in the base and it is really heavy I've just carried it up my stairs from my lounge and then um, let's get into the detail of it so this beautiful so you can see how quickly that just came on there the switch is just behind here which is genius because you literally reach up to hit the light and then you press the button so I'm just going to turn it off again I love how it fades out it doesn't just go bop it's genuine it's such a lovely design a really tactile feeling and they are actually <coughs> excuse me a cough they are actually um it's not going to be able to show you that very easily I don't think my glamorous ironing board if I just swiddle 
you can actually see the the range of the beam there changing so you actually focus in the beam you can see it getting bigger there obviously it's better in person um, and then actually it's dimmable too so i can't remember what setting i've got it on at the moment but yeah i'm there's a, a roller at the back here so if you were i don't know if you were looking after um, a little person and they were having a sleep in the background you could dim the light so um, and you can see how oh, it's silent isn't it and then obviously turn it off the other great thing is that these lights are independent so not always am i ironing i could just be using the light um, for this area and you can see how well that lights the area um, again i'm just using the this so i've got my hand over the front of the light there so and you can see how i can direct that Sorry, I just switched it off by mistake. And you can see how I can direct the light to focus on the area, and that's really straightforward to do. So I hope you're getting sort of a glimpse of how brilliant that is. And genuinely, the light that this is casting is, well, it's like daylight. That's the whole point. And look, I can bring this right round, so there's no shadow cast there at all. Um, and it's just illuminating my brother's sewing machine, which is amazing. They are so tactile, so they've been so I'm moving it around a bit. So they have been brilliantly um, engineered. Let me just turn both on. There's some features that I can't show you here, but on the back, um, there's like a indicator of how bright your light is. So when you're dimming it, it's got some lights on it that sort of um, that light up down the back of the the light. There, I was trying to find a way of showing you that, but I can't. Um, but yeah, really solid amazing quality um, and I'm really looking forward to doing some sewing so if I add back in my overlight and uh, my light overlight uh, overhead sorry um, you'll see how much difference that's made to my room just amazing cannot wait to get started so how cool is that I mean genuinely um, I've shown probably shown you the unboxing there and also my first flavor into the lights themselves um, you can see how well it illuminates the lights, uh, the mic illuminates the sewing machine and my and my ironing board. Now my ironing board normally lives here, but in order to film today and not have my light reflecting on you all the time, I've had to put my ironing board here, which is like blocking my door now. Um, but this is perfect because literally it splits in two. It's called the Gemini um, light, and it is part of the customize um, yeah, how you can customize your light. Because actually if you look at this on the website it is a single stem light um, and then when you go into the options you get to choose from what color you want what color stems you want if you want a gemini which is what this is and it's genius and you know what you know that i like to support local businesses and this is an english company these are made in Aylesbury. they're made to order and their service was amazing i literally started having conversations with these um this company uh, last week um, and within days um, this, that beautiful parcel uh, was with me and, and not only did I have great communication from the company the the courier company also um, was great communication and they exactly said that they would be there within a two-hour window and they absolutely were it was amazing so built in England which is all lovely they're full assembly so I literally, I don't show you they're literally getting out of the box, but they are fully assembled and then you see them, they're like sort of like a swan, all sort of tucked into each other, which is amazing. Um, they come with a, a five year warranty, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, just, oh, I love it. Shall I lean over and turn them on? I don't, so look how easy this is, look, ta-da, it's so, so ergonomically beautiful. Um, I just, I just love them. You can see the glow there. Oh, look at that. Look. Ta that is actually how I feel about my sewing machine. Ta look at the difference. I was trying to show you um, how amazing this daylight technology is because it is literally like daylight. In fact, I'd go as far as to say it's better than daylight, particularly in my room because I've got a window over here, as you know. Um, they sh I show you a little spin of my room actually, I've not done that before, so that's really lovely. Um, but yes, yeah, it is extraordinary how how much better 
my crafting is and obviously you could do crafting sewing reading knitting whatever you want really but also because you've got the two lamps you literally um, can direct it in different ways so it's perfect for me with my sewing machine and my overlocker and my ironing board that normally sits there it's a win-win um, I I do actually want to talk about some of my makes but I'm so enthusiastic about the lights so let me let me finish off talking about the lights and then I can move on to um, what I've been up to and making because it I you know and everything I do I feel like I'm just talking to friends and this is something I would I would recommend to friends without question so I don't feel bad about doing it and it is supporting my channel um, so yeah, think of think of it as you will but it is supporting my channel you guys are under you know I want to share um, my experience of this because it is genuinely an amazing product um, and um, I have seen the other videos my, my colleagues have done and you know serious readers um, have serious lights and serious readers which is a company that um, that, uh, that sells these they've done the same offer with my colleagues um, and so very generously they are giving you the opportunity, if you buy one of these lights, they're giving you the opportunity to have a compact light for free, which on their website is £150. I put it down on the floor here. Um, now this, this is extraordinary. Uh, now it literally has just come out of the packaging. I have plugged it in despite having cover on. I've just put that back on there to show you. This is amazing. It comes in its own little bag, which I've neatly managed to leave downstairs, but it's in the footage. So if you use the code SOMAD, <laughs> I thought it was great. Everyone else gets Cara, you know, like a ruin or something like that. I get so mad, but my channel is so so mad. So S C W M A D. Um, then you will get a um, a free compact light. Look, look how flexible this is. Oh my word, it's just awesome. Let me take this off. I thought this was brilliant that it comes with a cover because it's it's really lightweight. Okay, <laughs> the floor lamp definitely not white lightweight, but it is very lightweight. So you could take this with you when you go crafting, if you're going to a sewing class or something and you know you need um, that just to, if you're like in a village hall or something and you just need that additional um, like focus. Look at that. Now this isn't the daylight technology but it's a phenomenal, you can see there it's a bit like LED in there, um, it's a phenomenally brilliant light um, and they'll give you that um, which I just thought was amazing. As I say it comes with a a lovely a lovely lamp and I was reading here because it's got a little um, booklet on here it's basically um, so this uh, Alex Pratt uh, who's the founder of Sirius Lights he's amazing he's got involved in uh, let me see here something to do with um, with my word maybe it's just something about going into space so yeah specialist commissions followed for airport control towers RNLI lifeboats and Richard Branson's global ballooning attempts and even the space shuttle so there you go how that's phenomenal um also you get free international shipping um if you're ordering a light and i can tell you you can see the box in my footage it's an enormous box to receive something as brilliant as that with free shipping it's a win-win situation so i hope you don't mind sh me sharing that because it genuinely has changed my sewing room just full stop it's happened it's done my room is never the same now, so why wouldn't I want to share that with you? So enough about the lights for now. Um, I don't think they're too, uh, let me turn them off for you. They're, I, I'll explain in the footage, look at that. I love how that fades out, brilliant. You can change the um, change the beam on them just by swizzling the top here. So it it's, makes it wider and smaller depending on um, how focused you want it to be. Just love them. I don't know, should I leave them on, should I leave them off? And they're independent, look at that. Look, see how much difference that makes. Oh, I'll leave it over here. See how much difference that makes to my footage. Can I leave it on? Well, actually, look. See how the contrast changes. I love that. And the glow of my sewing machine. So anyway, enough about lights. If you have got any questions, please, please, the team at Serious Readers have been so responsive to every question I have. And I'll obviously leave the link below and obviously a reminder of the code as well. But genuinely, they're amazing. Day night, daylight technology, you can see that it is daylight basically. Right, what have I been making? So I did a November plans video and I think I've been quite a good girl. I think everything that I talk about in that video I've actually got to show you here and you know I've got more, you know I've got more. But I'm going to spread some of this out because it's, uh, 
you're all like, how do you sew that much? You've been on holiday, you work full time, you've got a husband, you've got two dogs, you've got a beautiful daughter. How are you doing it? Honest answer? I am not sure. Because for me, I personally think I don't sew all the time. That can't be true because I've got so many clothes. It's ridiculous. But let's start off with um, the beginning of the month. Uh, was it October? Um, was the Sew Up Cycle Challenge 22. That seems like a thousand years ago. And I'll put the photo. Do you remember I had this dress, um, which was from Sew Over It? Um, it's a beautiful dress. Not dissimilar, actually, to the slip dress from Friday Pattern Company. Everyone was making those in the summer, in that it uses bias binding for the neckline and, and all that sort of malarkey. So I changed it from that dress to... The oh, hang on a sec. Wait a minute. Slight malfunction on the shoulder. Don't tell anyone. Between friends, seem to have a hole appeared. Sorry about that. But I have worn it actually quite a lot. So I made it into the sagebrush top, um, also from the Fine and Pate Company. And do you know what? I love doing this because this fabric was amazing, and I was able to utilise every scrap of it. In fact. I made this ages ago now because the competition closed on the 31st of October. That is what I had left from the make. And I held on to these pieces because I wanted to show you just how little of this fabric I had left. So I can now throw that in the bin. Just the sound of me throwing it in the bin. So I made it into the sage brush. Now I unpicked the original bias binding. So this is the original bias binding from the original dress. Um, and I had enough to um, bias bind the whole edge and do the ties at the back, which was amazing. I love some of the original features here. So this is the back. Now the original dress had a, a button placket. And there you can see, I've literally got the button placket there with the original buttonholes. Now I could have left the buttons, uh, I could have sewed the buttons back on. They wouldn't, they're not functioning now. But I just I decided not to. I don't really know why I decided not to actually, because it would have been quite nice. But I I widened the placket, so uh, ordinarily the placket's much much more, and actually this literally just overlaps in order to make it big enough to get into. Um, the sleeves, um, because you imagine the, the dress, the two biggest parts, obviously the back panel and then the two front panels, um, and I I just literally whacked the pieces on and cut it out, um, knowing that where there was the front which is two pieces if you sewed it together it would be one piece which obviously creates this look here but look on the sleeve head here you can still see hopefully you can see that lay you can see original button button holes so i didn't worry about cross grain or anything like that um and it's worked out really well you genuinely would not know that that had a former life as a dress um so i've really enjoyed wearing that and the competition um, with so many wonderful entries was really thought-provoking wasn't it in terms of how we could repurpose um, the items so that was really great fun I remember talking to you about so the Lisi and body suit that I made in this amazing green green bamboo jer jersey it's not it's not bamboo jersey I don't know what it's made of but it feels like bamboo jersey because it is the softest fabric ever now not everything I make works out as I would hope. Um, it particularly doesn't work out as I would hope when I'm being really speedy and not giving myself time. Um, I'm going to just segue back into the, um, the Mitchell trousers by Cosic Core. Thank you for all the lovely comments on that, by the way. Oh, you're amazing. But um, the Cosic Core project was quite a quite a big project, and I was determined to do it in small chunks. Um, and that way my accuracy stayed high, my concentration, all those sorts of things. And that was genius. However, on this such make, I just decided to crash on through my tiredness and my enthusiasm, which is more overwhelming than my tiredness, generally speaking. Um, and I made a top. And I, and I made the top so quickly that the neckband is annoyingly slightly different size um, around the top. This is a, this is an Agnes... Agnes Galaxy T hack because uh, I don't like the Agnes because it's too pointy at the sides as in it goes in and skims out so the t-shirt itself is fine uh, just a very simple turn up of the cuffs and um, oh no look I did a I did my fake hem band on the bottom 
that's when you turn up the hem and then turn it in on itself and sew the edge um, so that you see look you can see that there and then you flip it back down again and it creates a fake cuff so this is still one piece but I find on jersey particularly lightweight jersey like this one or a viscose jersey where it whiz, can be wibbly wobbly to do that is so much easier um, I hope that makes sense and if you're if you're thinking I have no idea what she's talking about so essential has a I think it's kind of, it's called something like seven top tips for overlocker usage and it's from that so just go and watch that so this this t-shirt I had visions of this being ideal for so many things bamboo jersey absolutely love the feel of it on me want to make everything out of bamboo jersey except that it's really wibbly wobbly it's very floppy um, and being a lady of a certain chesticle size this a shows everything that's just my fingertips through there and b it, it just doesn't have enough structure so where i've got stuff moving around and haven't we all in our t-shirts on the top half um it just seems to really accentuate that so it's a bit of a fail for me. It would be all right under dungarees, which would be fine. So a black dungarees or something like that. But I really like wearing my Lysian bodysuits under dungarees because then you don't get a draft. You don't get a draft around a midriff, um, which I really like. So hmm, I said I would make it, so I showed it to you, but it's not my favorite make, I've got to say. Have I got any favorites? I'm not sure. It's like choosing your children. Um, let me lean down here. I seem to be rattling through these but I appreciate I've taken up a lot of time on on the light um, which I, I hope you don't mind um, I feel like I'm amongst friends and I can talk about my magical things with you and my light my new serious readers light is magical um, oh, I love you know uh, Felicity fabrics what an amazing selection of fabrics and what amazing people Caroline and Fliss um, I'm lucky enough to be part of their blogger team I don't blog for them a huge amount oops there's quite a big team and therefore we wrote we rotate it round. excuse me got the hiccups and um, when they reached out to us and said we've got some new fabrics coming in you know that I was massively enthusiastic about this amazing petrol cord it's actually quite true to color there it's a um I could put it under the light look there you go that's true to color that beautiful color there that's coming up you see that yeah that is oh, that's amazing because that really is the true color of it um, and I made my favourites, I made the heyday dungarees and I made these just in time to go to Holland so I think you see these in, yeah I think so, I think you see these in the Holland Hall I love these dungarees, just perfect for this time of year um, and I wear them with a with a Somerset tee that's also from Felicity Fabrics um, fabric so that's, I'm um, really really chuffed about that um, I just love these which is magical um, did I talk to you about the dress I'm wearing? I don't think I did. I'm thinking, I'm sure there was something else I wanted to show you. And the last make is this new look, uh, new look K6650 um, is the dress I'm wearing. Uh, I, I think I've talked about this. Apologies if I have, but I'm wearing it today. I couldn't remember if I'd shown you. It might just have been in the plans. Um, I will put some pictures, but this is a full length a full length dress and um, let me just reach over and grab the talk amongst yourselves a second <laughs> I'm always getting up and down in my videos aren't I I'm exhausting so that's this pattern which was indeed my in my D stash and then I thought no I really like that and then the week I made this as you may remember me talking about the I think it's called Estelle I think I called it Giselle before the Estelle dress from so over it where they that's got a waist tie on it that sort of ruches off to the right hand side which I absolutely love but I made this before and I put the pictures in up here of it and this is in a Minerva exclusive um, knit fabric that oh, again was provided to me actually um, I think so yes it was um, so I'm a lucky lucky lady working with all these amazing companies um, so I think it's just my husband coming home I think I might have left the keys in the door uh, yeah, we're all right he's in he's managed to get through the front door um so there's gonna be whip it pause and shouting in the background now not shouting like you know saying hello on this but yeah so this was uh, also something I made and I've worn this dress lots um, and I remember saying that I wanted to using the red knit fabric that I got from Holland wanted to make the Estelle dress 
But actually, I've subsequently decided I'm going to make another one of these um, because it is a, a really nice pattern. And like lots of people, we need to think about what we're spending and, and things like that. So that is my plan. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. It's a little bit of a quicker update from me today. Um, I don't know whether to do Vlogmas or not. You need to let me know. I, mm, I did Vlogmas, Vlogmas last year for the first time. I did really enjoy the interaction I had with you all. So what do you think? Shall I do Vlogmas or not? And if I do Vlogmas, what do you think I should do? Now, I'm not going to do an opening of an advent calendar every day, but last year I did do a questions and answers advent calendar, and I know you all really enjoyed that. So if, if you have a question you'd like to ask me, then please put it in the comments below, or DM me on um, So So Mad um, on Instagram. I'd love to hear what you think. I might even put a... Um, a comment in the community tab on YouTube. So shall I vlogmas, not vlogmas? And if I do vlogmas, would you like the Q and A's again? So I don't do those very often. Um, I'm sure you've got some questions you want to ask me. Ooh, exciting. Christmas just around the corner, I can't believe it. December is next week. Oh, what has happened to this year? And as I look across my sewing room here, and actually in the clip of today's footage, I've got my Christmas dress, my party, Christmas party dress, sitting on my mannequin here. Um, which is exciting and this mannequin was given to me by a customer oh, I keep saying customer, by a patient um, she happened to get involved in conversations about my dressmaking she said oh I've got a dressmaker's dummy would you like it so she kindly bought that in for me how nice is that so I think coming up next for me um, will be another unboxing um, from little miss so-and-so so I look forward to sharing that with you I already know what it is because I'm filming um, yeah, it, it's just how things are and you're going to love it. So I can't wait for you to see that. And thank you for all your lovely feedback on that as well. Um, and I can't wait for you, if those of you who have signed up for that, to enjoy that experience because it is magical. Um, I'm also looking at a couple of other makes that I've made. So I'm going to share those with you in a future video coming near you soon. So anyway, everyone, I'll, I'll leave it there. Um, stay safe and well. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a good old thumbs up because how this YouTube channel works or how YouTube channel works in general is the better interaction I have the more people get to hear about me which would be really nice so stay safe and well everybody until next time take care